Good morning. This video is about the 2009 Sterlings that I have here in front of me. Both with a 14 liter Series 60 Detroit turned down to 450 horsepower, both with engine brakes and cruise control. Both are single axles, both are exactly spec the same, and they're not that far apart in VIN numbers, they're just apart by a couple hundred digits. There's also a I believe that is a 2011 or 2012 Freightliner Cascadia Columbia single axle. <clears throat> same company, same fleet maintenance, everything. But uh, today's video will be on both these trucks. These trucks have not been started in the past, I'd say about a week since I readjusted the yard. So we're going to hear the code start up on both. Look at blow by if any. I need to go in between and keep revving the engine because it has the idle shut down. And uh, let's just get started on the general overview. Well, uh, let me start them up now on the code start. Let the engines warm up. I'll do a general overview. That way, engine will be slightly warm when we get to the blow-by portion. So let me pop the hoods real quick. Fourteen liter Series sixty, and then there is absolutely no oil on the ground or on the oil pan as well uh, that there is black paint like I said it was fleet maintained so they probably painted the frame and then uh, there's no damage on the hoods anywhere all right so let's go over here to this one Here you go. So this one, this air filter was changed January 23rd of 2023. I don't know why they didn't use a new piece of tape. Yeah, like I said, fleet maintained. They got new parts everywhere. Uh, if you look, you'll see some. I'm pretty sure these have new airbags on them as well, but let's continue here. Again, another 14 liter. Same thing. Oh, this one actually, no droplets on the ground. But uh, this one looks to be a, this is my first time seeing it, but it looks like a gasket leak. Let's go up top to verify. Yeah, that's paint. That's not oil of any kind. All right, so we're on top verifying. That's dry there, so that's pretty old. So it looks like it is a oil pan gasket. Now back to the first truck on the passenger side, just to verify that this one has a piece of plastic randomly in there, okay. But there's no oil, looks like there's some grease there, but no oil on the oil pan. No oil on the passenger side of the block. Let's go back to the second truck. I'm trying to make this video as comprehensive as I can, so if you do not like the trucks, you don't have to drive down here. Okay, we've got the same thing on this side. So it looks like the gasket is just seeping, but it's not dripping. All right, so let's start them up. I'll throw the trash in there for a second. Hold the phone outside so you can listen to the engine on startup. Started right up. Of course, it's not too cold out. I think it's around 70 degrees somewhere there. And of course, this is the worst dash out of all the Sterlings here. We just sold two of them and this is the worst one. Again, pull my five. All right, so the first five minutes was a quick overview of the engine and a code startup. 
Now we're going to move to the first truck I started up. Walk around that, keep the engine going. So we can get some warm oil. They got good throttle response as well. Alright, so we looked at the front. Let's start from the middle. They're dual tanks. Uh, driver, they're both the same size tank. The driver's side is just set back a bit further. Let me verify real quick. I am completely wrong. Passenger tank is smaller. We got 70 here. We got 100 here. No rust anywhere on the frame. It's an Arizona truck. Tires aren't the best. We got a panel on the back. Got the automatic greasing system, so there will be grease everywhere because it keeps it greased up. Batteries are under this deck plate. Back of the cab. Right. Now this one has new airbags on the back. Alright, so I'll walk slow, that way you can pause anytime during the video if you see something you don't like. The interior, like I said, that other truck has the worst dash. The 10 speed manuals. All right, let's finish off with this truck. So this truck has 500, there we go, I'll try and make it visible in a bit, there we go, 526,000 miles on it, got the cruise control, uh, engine brake, here we go, let's see if we can hear the engine brake real quick, there we go, engine brake, and then that's about it for this truck, oh wait, blow by, sorry. As you can see, there's no blow-by out of the oil fill tube and no blow-by coming out from under. Now this is the uh, truck seeping oil, so I'll go to the oil pan, see if there's any fresh oil coming out. As you can see, it is a very, very slow oil seepage. Oh, the only downside to these trucks is uh, the key don't come out. Oh, like I said, uh, auto shut off. I did not rev this engine and it shut off. You can see uh, there's no restriction in the fuel filter. Fuel lines here. Alright, uh, let's restart this guy here. Off, on neutral just in case so since we're in here let's just hop in the cab oh yeah and also they don't have a passenger seat this one has 521,000 miles I do have another sterling coming in uh, possibly coming in sorry not definite uh, it has two Actually, four sun visors, it's pretty cool. 
and so I don't know the miles on the other Sterling, but uh, I don't know the condition of it either. I just know that I'm gonna go look at another one today. All right, so again, 100 gallon tank, 70 gallon tank. Back of the cab, no restriction of the fuel filter. See, they look like they change out that fuel bubble. Not the filter, but the bubble. All right, so we got a rustless frame. Nice and clean. Uh, I think the step is, yep, the step is loose. We got a uh, nice clean there. Again, automatic greaser. So everything on the other truck is on this truck. No rust, they were both in Arizona. So I just walked through this one pretty quick, or let me just do a slow pan here, so you may pause at any moment. Alright, All right, so let's look at the blow by real quick and that'll be it for both trucks. I forgot to check the engine brake on this one. I know it works, so let's just prove it right. All right, engine brake on, ready for throttle. Engine brake is there. All right, I didn't show this on the other truck because I forgot, but uh, throttle response and RPM readings and oil pressure. All right, quick throttle snap. All right, there we are. Again, key stuck in this one like the other one. Both trucks are, what do you call that? Maxed out at 65 miles an hour, so it is regulated. It was due to an experienced driver. They, not ex an experienced driver, sorry. They were hauling 80,000 pounds, which were sets of doubles. They didn't want people taking off and destroying the truck with 500 plus horsepower so they turned it down put a limiter on there and that's about it really and that's everything about the trucks fleet maintain again new parts everywhere uh, they they had to be DOT ready basically at any moment all right well thank you for watching my video